wait a minute yep that's right you guys there's snow on the ground now so what does that mean uh it's cold that's what it means um so yeah right now we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video uh we're not necessarily going to try to catch fish but hey if it happens uh, i won't be mad at it but today we're out here and we're going to be testing out my musky setup um it's not really a musky setup it's a bass fishing rod with 65 pound braid uh, i think it's like an eight inch is it eight inch no it's a 10 inch 10 inch wire leader it's either 10 or 12 i can't really remember a uh, big wire leader and a bass fishing rod. I actually got three baits with me today. The three main things that I'm going to be throwing uh, for the elusive musky. Uh, we've got this guy right here, which is my big walking bait. Boy, that wind is just uh, just deciding to pop out as soon as I start my video. Hopefully, my hat will protect it a little bit. We've got my big sexy dog walking bait. Then we've got a 12-inch Wrangler worm on a six out hook and we've got the big shad swim bait so we're going to throw this around a little bit we're going to kind of face you guys away from the wind as much as possible uh you guys can see here i haven't even really done a whole lot of fishing out here. something going on up north here don't really know what it is uh we're going to throw this guy around for a little bit see how it looks see how it works make sure everything is good before i start fishing for the elusive musky pike gator gar mystery fish whatever it is i'd probably what was that i hear a duck there ain't no ducks in this pond i think the last time i seen a duck in this pond was about probably heck i don't even know the last time i seen a duck in this pond probably back in may may or july something like that you guys can see here this walking bait is a very active bait has a lot of action to it it's a lot of weight to cast that's for sure got a ton of action out of that bait though the harder you twitch it the further it walks back and forth Something else I've noticed about this bait, which will be very, very useful for when I'm fishing for the musky or pike or whatever it is, when it comes up to hit it and it misses it or something, if I twitch it really hard, sometimes, not all the time, but when I twitch it really hard, it actually dives under the surface about two to three inches. And I've seen places, I've seen videos where just having that topwater bait on the surface has one come up and hit it and then you twitch it and it kind of sinks under the surface real quick actually helps you catch fish something else i like about this bait really really does uh give me the musky fishing vibe is if you, i'll try to make a shorter cast here i'll show you guys if you kind of do more of like a sweeping motion it glides quickly across the surface like you guys see that right there it doesn't really walk, it more glides back and forth like that real fast, and I like that a lot. That looks really good. I, I know I, I know there's walking baits and musky baits that do that, and that are supposed to do that, so I think that's going to be really good. Something else I like about this bait is it has a lot of noise. Like Even when I make a really far cast, I can hear the rattles, and I can hear it just splish-splashing back and forth on the... Uh, uh, surface of the water i really like it i think this bait is going to be a major player this year i'm definitely going to be throwing it a lot because i think that if i am going to catch that fish it's either going to be on this bait or uh, it's going to be the uh, the big shad swim bait those are my two picks for what it, i'm most likely going to catch that bait or catch that fish on something else i like is just like that right there i've seen a lot of times where musky fishermen are just working their bait back and forth and something comes up behind it and you just twitch it real hard uh, it didn't really work because i had very little line out but you twitch it real hard and it makes a really loud sploosh kind of sound and then fish just come up and smoke it so i'm really excited about this bait 
but I don't think we're going to catch anything right now on it because it's pretty darn cold. I'm just kind of coming out here to see how, seeing how the baits work with that wire leader. That was something that actually started worrying me after I made my uh, video. There's a couple people that uh, suggested when I made my video on the uh, Coast Coast Outdoors uh, channel that I definitely need a wire leader. And yes, I was going to do a wire leader, but then I started to think, which is something that uh, I don't do a whole lot of, but I started to think, and I got a little bit, I got kind of worried a little bit about if these baits are going to work with a wire leader or not. Uh, and uh, I got a little bit curious, and I told myself if the pond wasn't frozen today, I'd come out here and make a video uh, throwing these baits and here's the big shad swim bait this is a seven inch ten dollar shad swim bait off of the ebay i know a lot of people uh, personally and i know a lot of people here on youtube are a little bit worried about buying baits off of ebay especially unbranded baits but let me tell you something this right here it's called a seven inch musky it's either bass musky or musky bass swim bait that thing is awesome one thing though that you do have to do, which I know a lot of people do anyway, even if you're not a musky fisherman, I know a lot of bass fishermen do it, and that is uh, change out their hooks. Definitely want to change out your hooks on this because I only hooked one fish and it bent out two of the hooks on the treble hooks. So you definitely want to change out the hooks. Uh, the fish that I hooked, I don't even know if it was big or not. I couldn't even really tell. As soon as I hooked it, it came off. Look at that guy. All right, that's, that looks really good. I don't think we're going to have much problems with the wire leader using these two baits. But this is more more or less a S-Waver style bait. If, you're, if you are familiar with the S-Wavers, uh, then you will love this bait because this bait is a cheap, big S-Waver. I mean, that's, that's basically how uh, I would... Uh, describe this bait it's a lot like an s waiver uh, the only difference is the price and the real the what's the word Re realisticness that's not a word uh the, the reality i don't know how i'm trying to say the word it looks real that's how i say it it looks a lot better uh paint job wise than the s waivers the s waivers has some pretty good colors like the warden i really like the warden um, I also really like the Party Crasher color. I have that one in the 120, and I have the Warden in the 168. Um, I also have a, oh, what's that one color that I have? I have two in the 120. I used to have three, but the uh, the third one, kind of a secret here. The third one's in the bottom of this pond somewhere. I don't know where it is. It was a bone-colored one. Ooh, wait a minute. Is the sun coming out? Holy crap, I think it is. Dang, man, I ain't seen the sun shine since I don't know when. Any of you guys that get that joke, like the video right now, if you get that reference. Uh, but anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I forget the color. I forget the uh, the second one I have. I have a different one. I have one in the Party Crasher. I have the 120 in the Party Crasher. I have a 168 in the uh, Warden. And I have a 120 in a different color. Um, I can't really remember. Dadgummit, what is that color? Um, I'll leave, I'll, I'll let you guys know, like in a, in a word text across the top of the screen here, if I can, if I find out, um, I'll go back in my shop and I'll look at it and see what color it is. Uh, for some, for whatever reason, I am just having a stupid moment and cannot remember what that color is called. Uh, but anyway, what else was I saying? Oh, I also have two Bass Pro Shops uh s waiver style baits they're they're a lot like a 120 size s waiver uh but i think they were only like 11 dollars. so at 120s that i have uh river to sea i think they were 14 the bass pro shops version i think they were like 10.99 or something like that i think they were 11 bucks um i know there's a lot of places out there that have a lot of duplicates of the s waiver um and a lot of people say that the duplicates of s waivers are terrible i I, I mean, in my opinion, I've only used two duplicates of the S waiver. The, uh, this one here, you know, the big shad swim bait. I, I think it's a kind of a duplicate of an S waiver. Uh, and then I have the Bass Pro Shops version. The reason why I like the Bass Pro Shops 120 S waivers that I have, I call them S waivers, glide baits, whatever. 
Uh, they're basically a carbon fiber copy of the S waiver, so I call it an S waiver. Uh, the reason why I like that S waiver over the original is the S waivers that Bass Pro Shop sells float instead of sink. Uh, and I think that they have their own special place within the glide bait realm, I guess you could say, the glide bait box. I think that if anybody out there is looking for a floating glide bait, the one, the only one that I've ever used is the Bass Pro Shops 120S waiver. So if you're a, you know, if you're a bass guy looking for a good S waiver, uh, looking for like a floating type S waiver, the uh, the 120 size S waiver from Bass Pro Shops floats and it has a really good action right along the surface. Uh, there's a video that I have. Uh, up here on this channel it's a review video i'll try to leave it in the comments or in the either in the comments or in the description but there's a review video i did on that bait uh, and i actually had two bass come up and hit that bait one was right over here and one was right over there uh, i had two different bass come up and try to eat that bait right on the surface as i was waking it as a really good waking action i really like that bait a lot for shallow water uh, and for suspended floating you know when the bass are eating top water baits and and uh, suspended in the water column i think that bait has a definite advantage over the original s waiver because it does float man I, I tell you what man you guys may think i'm just messing around but with that wire leader i'm sitting here and i'm i'm reeling it in and suddenly i just see the, a dark shadow where my bait is and it's, it is my bait, but I keep thinking it's a fish, so I stop it. And I'm thinking that this, whatever it is, going to bite. But I'm mistaking my bait for a fish. But I really like this S-Waver. Uh, S-Waver. I, I call them all S-Wavers. You know, if it's a glide bait, a single-jointed glide bait, I call it an S-Waver. Something else that the S-Waver, the original S-Waver has, and this bait here also has, is the, the, uh, the turnaround action. Uh, if you guys can see it here. You know, you can swim it along real slow, then you twitch the rod tip and it turns around. And what that does, uh, I guess I can throw a few tips about swim bait fishing in here. What that does when you twitch that uh, that bait and it turns around like that, is it gives those fish either a flight, fight or flight instinct. That fight or flight instinct kicks in and they're like, hey, whatever this is, a shad or whatever, has seen me. I'm either going to crush it or I'm going to swim away. And it gives that fish those two options and either, they're either going to swim away or they're just going to eat your bait head first and obviously you want them to eat it head first but i think we'll go ahead and uh, how many we're already 12 we're almost 14 minutes or excuse me almost 13 minutes in i know how to count i know how to tell time shouldn't be that hard for me we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw this i'm going to te i'm going to tell you guys exactly why i have this bait you guys did not watch my video over on coast to coast outdoors i'll tell you guys the reason why i have this hopefully it'll work all right with okay so uh, the last thing you guys should have seen was uh me talking about how it hopefully it'll work yeah well it didn't uh the first cast i made after that uh resulted in a backlash that took me about 20 minutes to pick out and uh, i got really mad at it and i just left the pond came back in the shop uh, so yeah, uh, I was sitting here listening to music and editing the video and realized that I forgot to say anything after that. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you've not already. Uh, check out the Coast to Coast Outdoors YouTube channel. Uh, I'll have a link in the description, probably. Uh, I may not. If I don't, I do apologize. Thanks for watching once again, though.